Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my morning talk, y'all. I don't know why tears come down my eyes. I just yearned and tear came down my eye. <sighs> I'm literally restless this morning. Usually I just yearn because I yearn. I'm really restless. Um, no, I'm not restless. Um, tired. I'm literally tired this morning. I've been up since about 3 o'clock. Um, so I'm, I've been just laying here as usual. Y'all know how I do. I lay in the bed and just be trying to figure out some stuff. And I went to the party yesterday. I went to my grandson's party. Um, Y'all, he did not mess with me in the beginning. He was everywhere. He was running around. He was, he was playing. He was playing and everything. He wasn't trying to. He wasn't trying to fool with me. Keep in mind, I hadn't seen him since he was born. Um, I drove to Wisconsin to see him. I did live in Indiana, but I moved back to Chicago. I'm back in Illinois, so I moved. I mean, I drove to Wisconsin to to the party, and um, he was all over the place, and it just had me feeling. <laughs> That's a different feeling to see a grandkid, like your child's child. It's weird, right? So I'm just watching him. You know, I'm watching him, watching him. And he's spoiled riding, of course. Um, He's just running around and running around. So when I picked him up, he just was like squirming around like he didn't want to be bothered. And I kept getting mad. Like, man, this baby don't know me. And I kept getting upset. And as I kept getting upset, I just kept looking at him, kept looking at him. And it made me forget how upset I was that he didn't know me. And in that moment, I realized that it didn't even matter if he didn't know me. I was there. You know what I mean? And in the end, he wound up starting playing with me. And he was hitting me. He beat me up. He was hitting me. Oh, God. I'm going to pray about this journey, y'all. I wish I could stop. He was hitting me in my face. He was trying to give me his sippy cup, trying to feed me the sippy cup. He wanted me to sip on it. And he was he was grabbing my face, and he just was pulling on me, pulling on me. It was a different feeling. He don't even know. He don't know that he don't know me. He's not even aware of it. <laughs> just being a kid, you know? In that moment, I blanked out. I blanked out, and I experienced the moment. And I believe a lot of times that's what we do in life. We be so fixated on what's not right. This is not right. This is not right. And this is not right. And we miss the moment that we be in because of our, sometimes things make you realize things about yourself that you don't like. Sometimes the situation make you look at your negative about yourself and make you look at Yourself like I could have done better. I could have did this. I could have did that. And you start to get angry. And you forget that you in the moment. As I was getting angry, I was getting angry at myself. Like, I could have had did this to be in his baby life. I could have had did that. And I could have had did that. And I could have, could have, could have, could have, could have, could have. I should have. And he don't know me. And it's my fault. And I almost missed the moment of having a moment. And an experience with him that could be a new beginning. I almost missed it, y'all, but I did not. And in the end, I got to know my grandbaby, and it was amazing. And even his mother, we talked and everything. Everything was fine. Everything was beautiful. New beginnings. So as I lay here, I think to myself, just because things haven't been right in the past don't mean that you can create a new beginning. In any situation. So I had to come here and share that with y'all. Just because things have not been right. In whatever area of your life. For whatever reason. If it was your fault. If it was their fault. It does not matter. You can always create a new beginning. By acknowledging that. Something went wrong. Okay. But now we're going to start here. I'm going to forgive myself. For whatever I did not do. Or whatever I allowed. Or whatever the case may be. And I'm going to experience a new moment and a new beginning with whatever situation is amazing feeling to let the past go and move forward 
And I think that will make you feel better because I felt better afterwards. I'm like literally ready to go back um, down there. I asked the mother, like, when y'all coming to visit? She was like, soon. So I think I'm going to. I'm going to ride down. I'm going to get a hotel room with me and the kids. And um, I'm going to ask her, could, I, could the baby come to the hotel room with me and the kids? Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna. I'm going to take the initiative to do things um, better. So when you have a new beginning, you have to do things different, you know. So I'm just so excited about it, y'all. So bottom line, regardless of what's going on in your life, you always have to be willing and ready to start a new beginning. You don't have to have the same experience you had in the past. You don't have to go through the same things and have the same ill feelings. You can allow yourself to create a new moment. And it's a, it, it could be an amazing thing to create a new moment after all of the storms and the stormy weather and the rain. And you sit and you watch another life, another, another experience, a memory. Take all the bad memories and flush them down the toilet and create happy memories. New beginning new beginning means new memories, new moments, new experiences. And it means growth. Growth for the new season that y'all in. It's growth. So y'all enjoy y'all weekend and always be ready for new beginnings, y'all. It's so important to it's so important for your life, your future. And please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel, y'all. I got a lot of stuff I'm finna start doing. I'm finna start trying to do these um intros and all this stuff. I'm trying to try to get Facebook fancy. <laughs> I mean YouTube fancy. Finna try to do the, the the um intros. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna give me a better camera. I'm finna start trying to make this a little bit more professional. I don't like I just come on here and do my videos and I'm not really concerned about all of that. But I really wanna make it look more professional and better. It's just y'all know I'm a Virgo, so y'all know how Virgos is. We like perfection. So I wanna try to make it a little better, you know. Cause I know at one point y'all can hardly hear me. It just it's it's been a struggle with building this channel. But y'all um been with me one hundred percent. Y'all been supporting me regardless if I have an intro or not. And I just want to tell y'all I appreciate y'all. Um, I appreciate everything that's been going on. I, I have to, I can't leave without saying that because it's so important. Like I started with zero subscribers and I think I got eight hundred right now. That means people are watching. You know, y'all watching. And y'all been here, like, through the videos on those weeks when I didn't even have a video. And I came back with one. And y'all watch the videos. Y'all comment. You know, all the, the text messages, the inboxes. Now I'm starting sessions. And I got people booking me for personal sessions. Y'all y'all just really active with me. And I just want to let you guys know I really appreciate it. If, ain't nobody told y'all I love you guys. Um, Y'all really mean a lot to me. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all Sunday, and I'm going to find me some really wonderful things to do today and relax. Goodbye.